my slow motion. So we just waiting on Rubio and kick this show off, or what we doing? Okay, I'm following so y'all, I'm following y'all lead. So is this on? Uh, is this is this live stream right now? This is not live. I wasn't able to connect them like last time. I had a feeling. <laughs> but y'all still, y'all still could just drop it on YouTube or, or for y'all could drop it on any platform though still, you know what I'm saying? Like a little snippet or whatever. Exactly. Exactly. We ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? We ass. smooth with it. You know what I'm saying? We smooth with it. You know, we uh hey look, hey, look, hey, y'all, y'all can see me good. Do I need to turn on my light? No, nah, he's great. All right, okay, all right. He's great. JG the God. What it do, baby? <laughs> what up, G? Slow yeah. motion like the ocean, man. Slow <laughs> motion like the ocean, whatever. Long time no see, man. Man, what you said? Yeah, you remember them? Oh, you, when you on the Iwo Jima? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, yeah. So you, you remember all the stories about me then? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I, I, done, <laughs> I done seen it, you know what I'm saying? I done seen it. <laughs> I done yeah. seen it, you know? So, yeah, man. Because I don't think we had too many conversations, you know, personally, but, you know. Nah, you always were cool with me. I remember you. I remember you, I remember you were cool there with me. That what you was in, what was your MOS communication, wasn't it? Landing support. I was landing support. Oh, yeah, y'all was doing, y'all used to uh, get out of trucks from land to the water, from water to land and shit on them big ass harpoons, whatever the fuck you call it. Exactly. <laughs> 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 That's too funny. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's exactly correct. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you, bro. Looks, looks like you're doing good, man. You still swole up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, man, you know, some some light, man. Some light. You know, I gotta. I don't. I don't work out as much as I used to because you know I don't be. I, I used to work out so much back then. I get tired of shit, but I do a little something lighter at night then. Got gotcha. you. I see the watch too. You know what I'm saying? I see the watch. Uh, you made me want to. You made me want to take. You making me want to take mine off, man. I'm gonna just take it off, put it on the table over here. Nah, you know, you know, now nah, we brothers, we shine together, baby. That's right. That's we right. shine together. We, right. we we brothers forever, man. That's right. That's right. So you in Texas? Texas? You in Texas at the moment? Who me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've been staying. I've been back and forth. I got. I got I told you I'm trying to do the real estate shit. So, yeah, I've been standing in Texas five years, but, you know, I still got a spot back home in Memphis, though. And then also I told you I'm trying to do that real estate shit with the VA. They, I told you it's up to 1.5 million, mm. five houses. Nice. Yeah. And so, so I get into that real estate. Well, I'm all, I had a little female already doing it, but then that bitch had hated on me, man. Once she, got, once she graduated, she got jazz and so. I had to send that whole pack, and so, but I'm gonna go do it myself. Or I'm gonna send somebody up, and then I'll be able to uh, get the little, you know, the like five properties that give you get up to five properties from eight hundred thousand to one point five million. But you know, I'm trying to get the one point five, and I ain't gonna spend the whole one point five though. You know, I'm gonna cut me a deal so I can pocket some money. Mm, got you, got you, got you. Yo, uh. Yeah. Mike, Mike might not be able to make it, man. He confirmed, and then he was like, "I can't do it. I got too much work." Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, unfortunately, it's all good. Shit, we can get it popping with your zone. Yeah, where well, you want to start, Joey? Let's talk about it. I mean, whatever, man. I mean, this is you know, we just you know, we on a. I mean, well, we well, ain't even well, on the. I mean, you well, you talk. Well, anyone y'all in Okinawa with me? Nah, I met you in the mute. Uh, yeah, y'all went in Okinawa with me. Damn, I need we need to get my homeboy that was on her. If we want Okinawa. I got so many stories from back then. Boy, out in Kentown and shit, man. What what's what's Kentown? Get out. It's the little it's the little city right outside of Okinawa. There were the clubs and the in the little bars and shit. BDA is called Kentown. It's right outside of uh Camp Hanson. Camp Hanson. Camp Hanson is in Okinawa. How long was you out there? Mine for a year, my first year. I went over there my first year from 2004 to 2005. Then when I came to North Carolina in 2005 and, you know, joined the music. 
Well, they put me on the mute. How was how was Oki? We got to talk about that because it sounded like that was a highlight. Mine, Oki was beautiful, <laughs> man. I'm talking about from the women to the festivities, all that. Even if you want to indulge in something else, they had that too. You know what I'm saying? But Okinawa was lovely. Like they, the women over there love those. My, I promise you, I used to love. But I'm gonna keep it real with you. I used to get the fight every weekend, every weekend in Kent Town, and it wasn't never with. It wasn't never with. The locals, it was with some grunts who I always thought they was better than somebody. Every time, it never failed. Every weekend. I believe it. I believe it. What would they be hating on? Just the fact that you had to swag? Right. Nah, he was you know, a pope. Nah, yeah, you know, me and work, you know, my partner work, you know, we was on them hoes and we were chilling, you know, and we'd be having our little fun and shit. But they come, you know, grunts just had that. You know, they be fresh from Iraq, bro, in that time. So they think they be the bad ass. And they just, just be disrespecting people out here as a whole, like, you know, stepping on motherfuckers' shoes, pushing motherfuckers out the way. Oh, yeah. And you yeah, know nah, I ain't nah, no nah, nah. No, sir. Dawson, you know <laughs> no, I ain't sir. no hoe. Man, I done got in so many bar fights out there, man. I probably, they probably got a picture, my, picture on me on the wall out there. I got so many, I done got so many fights out there, bitch. I believe. All right, I send out some more invites to some more uh, Devil Dogs. So this is this is only forty five minute window. I mean, take take your time, man. Take your time, you know. Yeah, I could have sworn I could have sworn one of y'all was in Oakland with me though, man. I could have sworn that probably. I don't know. One me. But no, I, I um, never got a chance to go to Oki. They didn't send your boy. I wanted my, you know, they had kids. my, you know, you know, my mouth before I, before I, before I got EAS off this joint, they tried to put me in the brig. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got in my NCID and NCIS was in, investigating me. Me were uh, a couple more niggas, San Diego, a couple more niggas. They was investigating us because, you know, we had we beat the shit out of them grunts. And that was in Lejeune? Like, huh? That was in Lejeune? Nah, it was on. It was in Okinawa on Camp Hanson, nigga. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. they had came back from my wreck and shit. And my, I, I'm finna tell you the crazy part. I can't, I can't. I already got in trouble for it, so it can't be double jeopardy by me telling y'all the story. So I'm gonna tell y'all the real story. You know, I was on duty, and my partner called me, Michael. We had already been getting into it with them and shit. And I'm on duty at the barracks and shit. And he called me. On, you know, we had them uh, phones because you know I was fucking with the. Uh, her daddy on Docomo cell phones. There was a big phone commercial. She was giving me and all my niggas free phones and shit. And so we had the cell phone. And so they, on, you know how on duty you do four hours on, four hours off and shit. Yep. Yeah. So so I'm on my four hours off. They call me my hey my Gucci's grunts man. They think blah, blah, blah. I'm like what? My dumb ass put on clothes, go out the side of the barracks. And when they had an E-club right next door to our barracks where everybody used to go to and they had to come back on base. So we in the E-club just chilling, man. You know what I'm saying, dude? I'm, I'm already fired up. So it was just a Jamaican dude who was with, he was with Seven Come. He was with us, but he was another department. So he... We they they leaving and they arguing, arguing, arguing back and forth. So I'm trying to break the shit up. Mine, the white boy, mine, he had to be about six foot, two fifty. My big ass country fed white boy. That mine spit in my face and called me a nigga. Before I knew that shit, I clicked out. I hit him. I hit him so hard, but I hit him. When I hit him, I saw him falling. There. But I know I'm on duty, so I just ran back toward the barracks. And not knowing them folks had did a number on their mind ass, he had to get medically discharged. I, 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 they had showed me pictures like NCIS was investigating us. They was showing me pictures of his jaw. He had thirty two stitches in his jaw and shit. His leg was broke. His arm was broke. His ribs, all type of shit. He had to get medically discharged about this shit though. After that, that's why NCID and uh, NCIS was investigating us and shit. That's crazy. Yeah. So they they want they wanted to get back. They want to revenge. Right, back. Well, Damn. But the, them they, they the ones started this shit though. You know what I mean? If my, I was just dumb here. I should have never came off duty to go help them folks fight. That was my dumb ass fault. But you know, I used to always be ready to they fight. They hit you with the NJP? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. NJP, none wreck mine. I got, and I got my, that's why I was supposed to be a sergeant. When I got to North Carolina with y'all, I had, they, they had buzzed me down from, from, uh, I, I came in from boot camp of, uh, already, uh, PLC. And so I had picked up Lance Corporate in Okinawa. And now, you know, by the time I would have got, y'all, I would have been about to make sergeant, but they had took me back down to PLC. Mm. Damn. You fought back and got all that shit back, though, didn't it? My, you know, I made the corporate, you know, I did. I still got an honorable discharge, yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Joey got out as a sergeant, if I'm not mistaken. But then your ass get out as a sergeant, too? Me? Yeah. I got out as a PFC. <laughs> For real? What you, what happened? What you do? <laughs> what you do? <laughs> shit, I just didn't know how to play the game. I, if I would have just been a little bit more smarter, I could have played the game. Probably yeah, did a little I, bit better. But, you know, yeah. I knew I, I wasn't planning on spending you know, my life. You know why? Hold on. Let's talk about it. Let's take a pause for a second. I'm going to grab the mic. You want to know why? Let's Staff pause for the Sergeant Grammar from LS. You remember that fucking man-looking, skinny, hairy-ass bitch from LS? Who, me? Yeah, Staff yeah, Sergeant yeah, Brown. I, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, she was tall. She was kind of tall. She was kind of tall, skinny, hairy mm -hmm. than a motherfucker. I'm talking, talking so about. hairy, she had to get a no shade chin. <laughs> Am I lying, Joey? <laughs> no comment. No comment. And her little minion. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let you have it though. You know what I'm saying? You want you say what you want to say. You yeah, know? and her little minion. You know what? That's why. Because she sat on a charter sheet in Afghanistan just to try to fuck me over when we got back in. Because I made her stupid ass look stupid. And you still stupid. You probably hairy than a motherfucker like the Grinch. <laughs> it's my <it's> crazy. <laughs> you are not my Lieutenant Colonel Brown, shout out to you. You didn't let that bitch destroy my life. You was thinking about my future even, even when I wasn't. And I salute you, big dog. Y'all remember Brown, Lieutenant Colonel Brown? Uh, I don't remember Lieutenant Colonel. I remember, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, damn, Staff Sergeant Bird. There was over out. There was over out between. Yeah. He want kill. He kept me out of a lot of trouble. I ain't like him and Stokely. Yeah. My folks kept me out of a lot of trouble. Staff Sergeant Bird, man, that's who brought me with him uh, to the mute. That's how I got there. He brought me and Stroger here. Man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I, right, man, we was on the Iwo Jima. I don't, Joe, I don't know if you remember this. But we was on the Iwo Jima, and I had got to fight with one of the Navy dudes. I had beat him with, out, out, out of when we were going to that club out there in Paris. I had beat that man with some brass knuckles in the middle of the street, bro. I beat the shit out of him. Stokely, Stokely, so G. My, you know, you had to stand in the line to get back on the ship. My, the, so another girl like, that's him right here. He the one who hit him. My, Stokely, so G, she took the brass knuckles and put them down her pants, man. That why I, I forever fuck with her, man, real talk. Yeah, she held it down like a real one, for real. She I ain't gonna me lie. out of trouble early on, early on. Like, my first month and a half in the, in the, in the Mew, I got into some shit. She got me out of some shit. My, we over be. Man, when I used to be on the Iwo Jima, we, we used to be drunk in hell, bro. We used to sneak the bottles and look on there. We used to get the big water bottles, man, and pour all the water out and pour number look in them bitches and sneak them back on the ship. And I had the female that worked on the ship at the, uh, at the whatever the fuck, she worked at the top. She had the keys to all that shit. We used to hide in her chest at her work job, man. We used to be in the bitch late night drunk as hell every night. We used to mix that shit with the fruit punch out the, out the fountain. Bam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had that bitch lit. <laughs> Be on the smoke deck, drunk as hell. I'm gonna tell, tell y'all some more crazy shit we did, bro. My, you know how the Navy have to walk through the ship with blindfolded and shit, and they know where everything is. I didn't know they had to do that. Yeah, yeah. When when they first come on the ship, they have to walk through the whole ship blind, blindfolded and find what they find or whatever they ask them to find. Mind this crazy as hell, huh? I said that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Look, look, yeah. look, listen, it's gonna get, the shit finna get crazy. Look, the girl Hubbard, my bro, you know, we used to be out at sea. You know, when you go out there, you can't even see nothing. It'd be pitch black. Man, we used to walk on the little thing on the side of the ship to this room to go smoke weed in that bitch, bro. 
I'm talking about you couldn't even see your hand. You couldn't even see your hand in front of your face. We used to have to hold on to the back of each other uniform, like I hold her uniform, younger hold my uniform. And we that's how that's how we used to get to that motherfucker. We would smoke and then come back, spray along and walk back on this. I'm talking about nigga, right there. You can hear the waves hitting the ship. Then you know how the people used to be mad in the lip shit on the dying, they had a little red flares on their cover, on their on their motherfucking flag jacket. Mm-hmm. Yep. See them. We could see them. They couldn't even see us because they had the little red thing. That's how dog used to be outside that bitch. Yeah, I remember just how man. dark it got at night. No, no yeah, fucking I'm talking lights about, anywhere. Night of, just imagine us walking on the side of the ship trying to get to the thing to smoke. You motherfuckers was was flirting with death because one of you motherfuckers like, slip and fall I off that bitch. God. I swear, they ain't to God. never gonna find you. But look, but look, just imagine coming back high, while trying yeah, to walk wrong. back high. <laughs> that shit, that I shit swear they find weed anywhere, won't we? My what? I swear to God, them motherfuckers in Cyprus, the people in Cyprus was giving it to us. Oh, they, goddamn Cyprus! Joey know a thing about Cyprus, don't he? That's right. That's right. Go ahead and tap in. Talk about it. Well, I was on Cyprus the whole time during the Israel Lebanon conflict. So the the when y'all was doing the evacuations and taking the peak uh jay where was you during the israel lebanon joint were you on the ship on the evo I, well, well i was on I was doing lebanon i was on the ship you know they used to try to buy to me for everything i said they had to eat that me fucked up but yeah i was on the ship though what was the ship doing i mean because i wasn't on the ship the whole time were y'all doing the transport I mean, I would to touch it. I wasn't doing nothing. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I, I was just doing like everyday life. I don't know what the rest of the platoon was doing, but shit, I was just chilling, doing like everyday life, going to the gym, child. I wasn't doing nothing Pacific. I didn't have no Pacific job, but I, I remember when y'all went out to Lebanon because they tried to get me to go. I said, I ain't want to go. Got you, cause um, cause uh, Dawson was telling me that. Cause he was on another ship. He was telling me they had to sleep in the well deck and allow the civilians to use the the birthing areas for when they were transporting them. And they could only the Marines could only use the chow hall for like an hour at a time, an hour a day. The rest of the time was for the civilians when they was doing the two days. But, but look, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say you might be right, but but you know, I never had to go to the child hall because you know I had young they used to work in there, and she used to fix my food and bring it to me. Mm -hmm. So you know, you, you so I you remember you know Dawson, you know how I used to have that shit. <laughs> you oh, remember that? Shit. Come on, baby. Yeah. Come on, baby. Yeah, so yeah, I never went to the child hall. Like she'll fix me what I want specifically and bring it to me. So it probably did happen, but I probably just wasn't aware. Probably, probably. You don't remember when we I had, know, had know. Uh, yeah. thousands of uh, refugees on the ships? They yeah, were talking talk, over talk. y'all uh, birthing areas. You gotta, you gotta talk about that because, because we wasn't, we wasn't going through that that you was dealing with with that. So yeah, so when we pulled everybody out of Lebanon, them motherfuckers turned around and started taking over our sleeping quarters. So everybody had to basically evacuate where they were staying at. We got to keep our lockers, but we had to give up our beds. And then after that, we had to just find anywhere to sleep. That's crazy. So we'd be sleeping in the trucks down in the well deck. But Dawson, did then you go to Katrina with me though? Didn't you? Yeah. Did you went yep. to Katrina? Yep. You, you you remember you remember we were sleeping in the warehouse and shit. They were giving us all that look and shit. We were sleeping in the warehouses and all they helping mm -hmm. the folks clean the house out. Yeah, when we first touched down, we went through that uh mental mental hospital that in the sailors. Mm -hmm. Right. Walking through all that shit. I think that was in Mississippi. Then we drove to Louisiana. Remember yeah, we, we drove to the middle we, of the road because the water was on both sides. Covered, the bridge was covered with water, man. We could yeah. burn the sea that bitch. We get yeah, burned yeah, and see yeah. the EFO, EFO got us driving on this shit. Yeah, well, I remember all that. And then, and then we went to that NASA base, remember where they had that rocket engine? Right, yeah, yeah, we yeah. Was standing inside that bitch. <laughs> we was, oh, you, I know you remember when Stroger had ran into the back of the dump truck. If I'm not mistaken, that was your dump truck. 
Stroh Stro stayed doing some crazy ass shit. He stayed doing some crazy ass shit. He, he ran into the back of the dump truck so hard it took a chunk of his hair out and his head. But well, well, let's get let's let's get a little juicy because you know what I'm saying. I want to see do y'all know what I know. So I we had hoes on our ship, right? So mm -hmm. was y'all was y'all were not getting no push on the ship because I sure was. Yo, don't talk. get quiet. Don't don't all speak at once, man. Come on. Nah, talk. nah, nah. Go ahead. You got it. Talk about it. Talk about it. You got it. <laughs> nah, so um, but answer the question was any yeah, was y'all getting any push on the ship? Negative. Okay. What about you, Dawson? No carmine. Like, look, I don't see how y'all wouldn't. I'm going to tell you what I used to do. My other fucking Navy females and the Marine females. I used to, you know, we all had our own Pacific truck. I used to tell them to come down the way. You know, we could go down either way because we used to supposed to go down there and do PM and shit. Nah, I ain't never do this shit. So I tell them to come down the side way and get them the truck number. They I give them the truck number. We'll take our, our blouses off and put them over the windshield okay. and shit. Go to work in there, Johnson. I'm out of mind. I was fucking Navy hoes, Marines, my foot, mine. What? That's why you I was so much. Huh? You ain't fucking no officer. Nah, I ain't fucking no officer, though, but I was fucking them Navy hoes, though, man. That's why, that why Young was about to get to fight with a couple of them hoes because in the other hoe, too, that I had the mush clean across the child hall. I, I oh, had, yeah, I remember. I know about that story. Yeah. <laughs> <I> <laughs> Sto hey, didn't Stokely come through in that one, too? Not it was Stoke Stokely came through, but then it, it, it ended up being uh what's the woman name? She was a gunner side. I can't she was black, I can't think of nine. She the one who had him, but that's the reason the fight started because she the girl was mad because like you know, young was my girl that I was claiming on ship. And so and she was giving me all the bread. So I was like, whatever. So she wanted the fuck. I ended up fucking her, but I told her, my look, don't, don't, don't no salt. And she had started giving me her feelings and shit. Mm -hmm. And her, and her head out, tried to stab me with a fork. So I mushed it out, clean across the motherfucking child. Bitch. Get mine. What? That shit was crazy, bro. I was I, I, I had fun on the ship. I ain't gonna lie. Late night, be drunk in hell, man. Go fuck in the truck, man. <laughs> this shit used to be so. I remember once that I was so motherfucking drunk. I was so drunk, they called for formation. I'm in the truck, but niggas sleep. My young had to come get me. Young had to come. <laughs> she had to come. <laughs> she had to come get me. I was gonna be passed out drunk in hell. What was you sipping? Was it uh my, we were basically that, was it overseas like, liquor? Like brand yeah, you yes, never heard you of? You know that shit mixed with the TAC? What's it called? Absence. It's called, it's a liquor. It got THC in it. They said it overseas. It's called, I think it's called Aptness. They were, I was drinking that shit. I ain't had it. That. that shit sound. Would you try it, Joey? So Jay he had used liquor. Jay had, huh? these, Jay had these fly shades, too. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, we, I had bought them in pairs. Goddamn Paris, getting lit. <laughs> getting the, getting yeah, the you know, in the Marines lit. And I'm going to talk about the good and the bad, too, man. I had got, uh, y'all y'all probably don't remember me because y'all were with us, but we was in, we was on one, on, we was in on the ships and shit. They were getting us duty. And I mean, not duty, but they was getting, letting us out the ship. And so I was out the ship. I was with Young and some of them child hall partners that she fucked with. So he ended up getting in McDonald's in over there in Italy. I almost got to fight with some more dudes that was in the Marine. They was on another ship, though. And mine, I come out to help him, and my I got my ass knocked the fuck out. I'm talking about, oh, I'm talking about knocked out for real. I'm talking about the dude hit me, and you know how you know in McDonald's where you uh put the tray, put the food, the, the trash in the tray, and they got the sharp corners on it. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yo, shit. Yeah, so he hit me. And my head, my head, my temple hit that. That shit knocked me clean out. My, I was so mad when I came to, bro. I said, when I see him, I'm going to beat the shit out of him. I ain't never seen yeah, him. he before. was in the service too, right? Uh, Navy dude? Yeah they, yeah, they was on another ship, though. On another, I don't know what ship they was on. Mm. Was you with us in, oh, fuck, I don't know where it was, but the coast, we was playing basketball. It was me, Lil. Cass that I remember from my ship. 
But uh, we started beefing with the Coast Guard dudes on the basketball court. We was playing basketball at a port or something. Yeah, I remember it. When it what happened? Shit, it was just like Marines, Navy, and Coast Guard. And the Coast Guard was smelling they self, and, and they was like some black dudes, and they thought they was better than us because they in the Coast Guard. Like, nigga. So, you know, then we started playing, and then shit just got more and more, more edgy, you know, fouls getting harder and harder, and then it almost came to fist and cuffs, but then it got broken up and shit, and then the day went on. Man, I get my, I done did, I got in so many fights in the military, bro, I can't even count them on one hand. I remember your ass being turned up when we came back, though, from uh 07. I want to say 07, you was getting loose. <laughs> Oh me? Yeah, you remember they go. Yeah. I was no, running around ball. with your ass too. Hitting them clubs yeah. off of Western. Yo, yeah. Y'all was y'all was in the party zone, am I right? Mm-hmm. Y'all was in the party zone, yeah. I was they married. Club, they club oh, kind of party zone. Married. Yeah. Yeah. Mac Williams had the link and I had the Cadillac. That's what we that's what we had when we got back. Oh, I remember Joe had them. Uh, Joe had the Monte Carlo, the Monte Carlo, the yeah. Monte Carlo on twenty sixes, right? Oh. Now it's on twenty two. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! Damn, them motherfuckers look big as hell. Yeah, it was on twenty two. I had the TVs and them motherfucking there. Bro. I remember you didn't have a bass, but you had that that them highs. That motherfucker, you hear that shit down the goddamn bass, down the bass right. here on the other side. <laughs> I said, why don't you put no bass? You said I already been there, man. I want them to hear my shit. Man, what <laughs> you already know. Yo, Jay, so when did you decide to enlist in the Marine Corps? Man, it went like this. I my I wasn't really that wasn't my plan to do the I'm from a small town, man. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be a lot of shit going on there, a lot of violence and crimes, you know, woo woo woo. So I jumped out the porch early, so and I was doing shit, you know, illegal shit, you know, to get the bills paid. But I was like, man, shit, it's got to be more to life than this shit. So, shit, I was like, shit, ding, I'm going to join the military. Just out of GP. I like, I want to see the world, you know, probably go to school and shit. So, let me join the military. And my cousin at the time, he came in. He said he was going to do it. Well, really, he didn't want to do it because he was a straight-A student. But he had fucked around and finally got some pussy for the first time in, like, 11th grade. And his grade started slipping and shit. So he uh he was like, shit, I'm going to go to the military with you then. I'm like, all right, bet. So we went and hollered at the recruiter, the woo, bam, bam, everything went good. And so, but toward the end, he was motivated to go. Me, I had started changing my mind. I was like, hell no, nah, fuck this shit. I ain't going. My recruiter started coming to my, she, they started coming to my class and my school every day looking for me and shit. Bam, man, you know what I'm saying? He was, I was like, man, I ain't trying to go to war. I kept, I kept telling him, I ain't trying to go to war. He was like, you ain't going to go to war. Da, da, da. He was lying, you know, juicing me up. And so I finally just decided, I was like, man, it's better to go to the military and see the world and do some different shit than to stay here and and keep doing the legal shit that I'm doing. So I was like, shit, why not? And I just, I decided to go on go. But I almost regretted when I stepped on the motherfucking yellow footprints. Ooh, I was mad as hell. Talk about but it. Then, Huh? Talk about it. Let them know about uh, the military. Okay, okay, friends. okay, yeah, okay. Well, you know, see, I, I, I ain't knowing how the shit goes, so I'm thinking it's like everyday life. We're going to just be doing training and shit, so I get a fresh cut back then. You know, I had the waves and shit, so I ain't, I hated for a motherfucker to cut my hair off. I had got a fresh cut. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I got to do my guy in there, my folks. Shave my shit. I had patches of waves in my hair. I was so motherfucking mad, and then on top of they hollering and shit, I'm like, man, look, this shit might not be for me. You know what I'm saying? But then I finally, you know, did what I had to do and gonna get up out of that shit. I mean, it was now that I look back on this shit one hard, it just was different, you know what I'm saying? And so, but you know, I, I don't regret it. At a point in time, I was regretting this shit, but I don't regret this shit and set a nigga up for what I got going in there. So, you know. So you appreciative of the uh the sacrifice you made, you know, because you you didn't. Yeah, have I'm gonna keep it all well. I'm gonna keep it all well, book. Yeah, I'm appreciative. I'm glad I did that. You know what I'm saying? Because like when I get back, when I used to come back for my leave and shit, motherfucker was still doing the same thing. And then my partner had got killed. My partner who I used to hustle with got killed. 
So, you know, I was like, man, I, I said, I, like, I knew I made the right decision because me and him used to always be together. So if when he got killed, if I would have if I wouldn't have been in the military, I probably would have been in jail for killing somebody or killed or dead with him. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So, you know, I, yeah, I don't regret it at all. I don't regret nothing I do, even the, the good, the bad, the ugly, because, you know, it wouldn't make me who I am. You know what I'm saying? What was your expectation going into recruit training versus after you got there after the first, like you said, they they cut your hair, you didn't, you know, you had the weight patches now, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of. Right. I mean, well, technically I didn't have, see my uncle, I got an uncle who was in the military. He did 30 years. I got, he was in the arm. I got another uncle who did 30 years in the Air Force. You know what I'm saying? But they couldn't prepare me for what I was going to go through. And I, I really wasn't, I was just like, this shit going to be hard. That's all I know. I, I didn't have no real expectation. I'm just like, I want to go and get through this shit and keep it pushing, do what I got to do. But when I got in there and I want you, you know, I got a problem. I can't, I'm going to keep it real. I'm, I'm very self-aware. I got a problem with authority. So, you know what I'm saying? That was one of my biggest issues. Like oh, learning man, yeah. to let that, like learning to let that Holland shit go past me. You know what I'm saying? Because well, I, at a point in time, Charles. Yeah, at a point in time, I, you know, I realized they can't touch you and you can't touch them. So, shit, why let it bother you? So, I used to start laughing at them folks and make them even madder, but they used to make, they used to work the shit out of it, though. I ain't gonna lie. Do you remember uh, Staff Sergeant Charles? Yeah, yeah. Who came? How can I forget him? <laughs> what do you remember? That my always, always trying to do everything by the book, and then when and when, 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 you, when we at work, then when and when we outside of work, he want to try to be cool and shit. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know, I ain't had no problem with him. But you know, he we me and him had a couple of you know words and shit. But until he realized I wasn't going. You know what I'm saying? Then after that, shit, we were cool. He he finally figured it out, huh? Yeah, he had no choice. He had no choice. He he was a he was a platoon sergeant. Is that right? Right. Yeah. 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 yeah he was from Trinidad. He was, he was the skinny black dude from from Trinidad. That's right. Devil dogs just steps out yeah. and cries. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he he run, he, he, he freaking devil dogs. Yeah. You know, it's funny that you that's funny that you bring him up. So first off, Jay, you joined to see the world, and actually the first place you went was uh Japan. Yeah, that was the first straight to Japan. I said, fuck it. Why not? I said, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna I said, I'm gonna do it, I might well do it all the way. And so I was in Japan for a whole year. First time ever, first time ever on a plane at 18, no, I was 19, at 19 years old and drove 24 hours, 20 hours from Memphis to to Japan. You drove? I'm, I said, you know what I mean. You know the fuck I ain't. You know I ain't drive. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I got to be a bad motherfucker to drive. <laughs> have you ever have you ever thought about going back to Japan or going, you know, traveling again? Yeah, my head, yeah, that's in the books for, you know, for my birthday, my birthday October 6th this year. I'm going to the Maldives, you know, is it? Is it is it Asia? Is it a resort in Asia? It's, you know what I'm saying? It's just nice as hell. I, it's five places I want to go. It's Maldives, Santorini, Greece. Bor Bor, Bali, and uh, Turks and Caicos. And, you know, I'm going to Maldives for my birthday by myself this year in October. Nice. Yeah, nice. you know, I, I love traveling, man. I love being by water. You know, it brings me peace and, you know, clarity, man. You know, yeah, I can, you know, clear and relax my mind, let my country breathe. You know, it's funny that you say that because my current intention is to return to – uh. Man, we got three minutes left, by the way. I'm seeing the timeout. Hey, uh, do we want to, uh, Daw, you want to send Let's another part one? Let's do a part two at a later date. You want, okay, you want to do that? Or you just want to send another link? We can jump back on right now. I mean, yeah, uh, we can jump back on. We can jump back on, man. You can send another link and jump back on. I just want to do it live. That's yeah. the only thing. I, I uh, like doing it live, bro, just straight away. Look, I'ma send the damn, I'ma send the goddamn uh link and we jump back on. How about that? Yeah, cool. And if you and if you press on being live, you just don't join. How about that? Uh my doctor, my doctor, 
Hey, Dawson, Dawson, cool out that cry baby ass shit, man. Come on, jump in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, two against <laughs> one. I guess I'm jumping back on. All right. All right. Hey, well, let's uh, let's finish this one out strong. Let's let's do our uh sign offs. Two minutes. Two minutes left. Go ahead. Let's you got start, start the sign offs. All right, I'm gonna start the sign off. Short party apparel. Joey McAvoy. IG at Joey M A C A V O Y. I'm with J G, the God. You know what I'm saying? First time reconnection after like what 15 years, 20 years. Yeah. Great stuff. You know, so we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. You. Yeah. You. Yeah. With Joe. So, JG, go ahead and uh, sign off. Just say your name, what you want, where they can find just, you at. Hey, just, Brian, just hit me up on our platform, JG the God, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. You know what I'm saying? All, I ain't got no TikTok, but, you know, the rest of all my platforms, JG the God, just to see what I got coming, like this real estate. That's about it. Okay, okay, I'm fucking with it. Hey, it's your boy Recon Reels, aka Lance Corporal Dawson. You know, I'm in this thing. We signing out, but we might be back. Tune in, check us out. Colorado City Studios, Joey Mack, JG the God. Tap in. Signing off. Yo, I'm gonna send that, I'm gonna send that link to y'all's uh messenger right now. Give me like two minutes and I'm gonna see y'all right back on. Yes, All sir. right. All right. All right, G, I'll see you in a second. All uh, right.